struggle with finding that real fine line and that balance between looking too confident versus not confident enough. It's such a tightrope, isn't it? And it's such a fine line. Uh, I think about Jim Collins, who wrote the book Good to Great, and he says that for leaders that are out there that are great leaders, and you think about leaders perhaps that you've worked with, is that they've got those technical skills, but the highest level, the highest level of leadership, or what he calls is a level five leader, is someone who is humble. And you think about humble leaders are curious, they're open, they're, you know, they often will apologize, um, they ask questions and they put their ego aside to be able to learn more. And they, that fosters a real sense of trust and innovation and progress in organizations. Now for you as perhaps a female consultant, what does that mean for you? It means for us is that if you're trying to market yourself and you're trying to get that balance right, I think there's two things that you can do. Number one is with your uh, content, whether you're writing content or videos, have a look at the amount of times that you use the word I. So if you're saying, well, I think this, or I did this, or I went here, uh, you still want to be able to obviously connect with the audience and tell stories and things like that. But the advice I have is to make sure you do an audit on how many times you're using the word I in your copy because it can sound a little bit centric on you and you can easily shift it into the third person or the advice I have is as opposed to, you know, my my experience has been or something like that. So just look at the amount of times you use the word I in your content. And the second one is around framing. Have a look at how you frame content when you're putting it out. So if you've done something like, uh, I think of someone who's done this really well. I think about someone like Joanne Love, who's in our community in Women With Influence. She wrote this book called Gold Medal Goals. Now, Joanne Love is a, a psychologist and she also is uh, a swimming Olympic swim coach, Paralympic swim coach, in fact. When she writes copy and puts out the information about her books, she never says, oh my God, so exciting. I wrote my book, please buy my book. She never does that. <laughs> what she does, she does this beautiful, elegant way of saying, did you know that, some, I think it's something like 80% of students, particularly from um, the uh, age of 12, right through to 19, in the crucial years of schooling is that they're often setting goals that are not healthy for their well-being and they create anxiety, stress, depression, and other mental health challenges that will affect them later in life. In my book, or in the, in the book, um, Gold Medal Goals, uh, I share the research and the evidence behind this and what you can do as a parent to be able to evolve your students or your child or for teachers and their students and setting goals, particularly around if it's exam time and to be able to finish school, something like that. So have a look, you follow Joanne, by the way, check out all the great stuff she's doing. But if you're trying to work out how can you do this, if you can balance this fine line, they're the two things. Have a look at the amount of I in your use of pronouns and secondly, your framing. Um, I'd love to hear what do you do to try and get that balance right in your communication?